If this was a player novel, this would be a tragic comedy. The reality is that this is the most important question of our lifetimes, and the government is getting it wrong every step of the way. They messed it up with the writ in the first referendum. They tried to get the Court of Appeal to expedite the appeal. They messed that up. They went to the House. They passed a law that was messed up. Um, they come here now um, trying to argue this point that to lift the injunction. They messed that up. They've messed it up every step of the way. And this is the government that wants to take us to the ICJ on the most critical question of our lifetimes. Can we expect them to get it right? That is the problem. You would think that with all that has happened, all this bungling, the government would take a chill pill, would hold it down, would try to get it right, would take their time. Why should the government of Belize, the Prime Minister, the Attorney General need to wait? There is an entirely new law having to do with this. We are satisfied with the ruling of the Chief Justice that said there was no serious issue to be tried because we argued those points. And he took our points in terms of prematurity. He took the point that the Minister of Foreign Affairs, as we argued, does have the right to enter into the special agreement. He took the point as to the issue of the alteration of the Constitution. And he ruled that there is no serious issue to be tried. So if you're looking to come back to litigate that, you have to get the Court of Appeal to overturn that first. So that is now their challenge. So the uphill climb, if you like, is now in the hands of the claimants in this case. Prudence, good sense, requires sober reflection, mature leadership, and a pause. To quote the deputy leader, take a chill pill and let's get this right so that we can have a lawful referendum, so that we can have a proper education campaign that's balanced, that's fair, and that's honest. Above all, I don't know what are the dark forces that are at work that are causing the government to insist that this referendum must go through in indecent haste. But I can only say to you that it seems to me that we need to pause as a matter of public interest.